Hello guys, it's Les from electric-motoring.co.uk uh, I was meant to make this movie for a while now It's about a Drive Assistant Plus package in BMW i3 That's available since I believe a 2014 model I might be wrong about that, so don't quote me um, But the Assistant package allows you to drive in the slow traffic um, It also can uh, do perpendicular parking for you uh, but I just wanted to show you how it works. It's um, just so you know um, what, what you're buying into if that's what you're interested in. Um, the, the vehicles that do have that option would have additional button here that enables it. So uh, we can switch it off. That's your just normal driving. And then to switch it on, you press it. You will get your steering wheel on the dashboard. Um, you still need to hold your wheel. So the vehicle will now drive on its own. I'm going to let it go. And you can see the steering wheel moves. Well, it's a bit shaky. It's uh, it's definitely not something you would like to have uh, going on. And then it will start shouting to keep your hands on the steering wheel. And when it does that, it will stop steering. So uh, it's a bit risky. If you faint, you cannot really rely on that. So as soon as you put your hands back here on the steering wheel, it will re-enable it. And then you can see it is working. So uh, I'm going to wait for some bends. So just to show you what it does, because it can take um, it can take bends as well by itself. But as you can see from the way the vehicle behaves on the road, it's uh, it's not stable. It's not solid. Oh, there is a Zoe <laughs> going past. Very nice. Mm -hmm. uh, so there you go. So this is what it does. It moves here and there. Whoop whoop. But you know, like. It does it in a manner that you know, like you don't want to. You don't want it to do it. You rather drive by yourself. Uh, if it's up to 30 miles an hour, it's normally quite okay because with slower speeds you don't feel that shaking so much. But uh, it's still not ideal. It doesn't keep in a middle lane like a Hyundai Kona did or like the Audi e-tron or obviously Teslas. They they do have that uh, mastered. Uh, you know, and also what you need with this vehicle, you always need a lead car in front of you. It cannot just do it by its own. So you will need to chase someone, like some other slow driver who goes slow enough for this to be engaged. Now, this system on this vehicle allows up to 62 miles an hour. That's what it has been set up to. Uh, I think uh, I think in most also other models it's up to 30. So, uh, but that's that's what it does. So you need the vehicle you follow and uh, you really need to, to be you know on the ball here keeping your eyes on the road and seeing what the car does uh, bmw a3 in itself i don't think it's the most stable car on like really high speeds 70 80s the narrow tires they make it feel so uh, you know i would not recommend driving above speed limits on motorways but uh, up to those speeds it's it's really good car so now it can just do it by itself you can also change the distance by changing the distance you press one here and you can see the distance that's the maximum distance three quarters half and as close as possible and so now it will just try to get close to the vehicle in front so you can see it's speeding up a little bit and then it's now asking me to take and now it's telling me keep hands on the wheel there is no penalty like in the Teslas. If you don't keep your hands on the wheel, the Teslas will tell you eventually. Uh, now you gonna have to drive by yourself until we stop again because you know you'll be naughty. Now this car doesn't do that. It just you hold the steering wheel again. It enables that, but obviously that is nowhere near the Tesla system. You need the car you chase, and it's really wobbly. But uh, but it does exist. So if this is something you would like to you know have, maybe more like a quirk. Uh, of the vehicle, then, then yeah, it, it works. So um, there you go. That's a driver system plus package in BMW i3.